Hi everyone, it's James from Global Citizen. Now, I got vaccinated last year against COVID-19 and I've got some really exciting news because amongst the millions of people in the UK have been vaccinated recently, those include my mum and my gran. And you're about to meet them. Mum, granny, we're three generations all in the same family and we've just all had the COVID-19 vaccine. How do we feel about it? Great. I feel I think, I think it's great. I, I, I'm so pleased I've had mine done. Yeah? I'm yeah, and I'm the next year. It's another one in 12 weeks, another something. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. right. I, I'm looking forward to the fact that, well, if, if Granny's got it now, I'm looking forward to Granny getting it. Oh. Granny. <laughs> 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 so, Granny, you had, your, you, had your, you had your thumb over the camera then. In the UK, millions of people have already been vaccinated. Mostly the elderly and vulnerable, like my gran, and frontline health workers, like my mum, who owns a community pharmacy in South Wales with my stepdad. I've been vaccinated too, after volunteering for the Imperial College London vaccine trials in July 2020. Now, the UK government has faced a lot of criticism for their handling of the pandemic. But so far, vaccinations are something that seems to be going quite well. With most people over the age of 60 having already been offered their first jab, the plan now is to keep moving down the age groups. By the end of July, according to current rollout plans, every other adult will have been offered the vaccine too. And you haven't had any side effects or anything like that? None whatsoever. No, me. None whatsoever. No. I didn't even have an ache in my arm. No, not me. Hmm. No. Whether that's the person doing it, the injection, I don't know. Hmm. Sometimes it can be... There's a reason why the UK has been so quick at vaccinating its citizens. Britain is rich. And rich countries like the UK, US and Canada had already bought hundreds of millions of vaccines last year. Indeed, Canada bought enough to vaccinate its population five times over. And while that's great for people like my mum and gran, it means that there are elderly and vulnerable people in low-income countries who are being forced to wait. In fact, 9 out of 10 people in poor countries are unlikely to receive a vaccine this year, according to the People's Vaccine Alliance. This is called vaccine nationalism, putting the world on the brink of what the head of the World Health Organization has called a catastrophic moral failure. However, there is a group trying to change that, the COVID-19 Vaccine Global Access Facility, or COVAX for short. It wants to secure at least 2 billion doses for low-income countries by the end of 2021, but it still needs billions of dollars in funding from developed countries to get it done. Now, that's a lot of mums and a lot of grands. So we need to put pressure on world leaders to step up and fill that gap. Take action now to call on them to do the right thing, because the pandemic won't end anywhere unless we vaccinate people everywhere. And, and last thing, uh, Granny... Do you feel more comfortable now that your your daughter and your grandson have both been vaccinated against COVID-19? How do you feel about that? Oh, without a doubt. Yeah? Without a doubt, I think, yes. And I, I'd be awfully more pleased when everybody got it done. It'd be safer for everybody. Yeah. I'm in agreement with you there, Mum. 